Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us today on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are going to be playing some Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams on the PS4. Now this is part of the THQ Nordic Bundle for the PS4 that is actually available on HumbleBundle.com currently. If you actually watch this video long after the date, then you missed out on a wonderful deal from THQ Nordic. Just wait another 68 months because they seem to be keep on releasing these bundles over and over again. Um, a new addition to this particular version of the bundle is to Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams, which is a wonderful platformer based on a game series or an actual game from the Amstrad CPC and Amiga era of games. The original game being the Great Gianna Sisters, which was a Mario clone. <laughs> you get Super Mario Brothers clone that came out in the late 80s. I think it was 89 that it originally came out. And it is, it was, it was fun. It's a perfectly acceptable Mario rip. <laughs> it had fire flower, fire wheels instead of fire flowers, and um, you have died by falling in the pits, and there was Goomba style crash. Like, essentially, it was just your no typical UK bootleg game that was taking a platformer design. We still see them floating about every once in a while nowadays, but this, uh, the new version, the Gianna Sisters, is so far removed from that because even back then, the Gia Great Gianna Sisters were um, litigated out of existence. Even in their own sequel, where it was actually going to be Gianna Sisters 2, it ended up becoming a game called Hard and Heavy about robots running through space, rather than actually being the Gianna Sisters' experience of traveling to a, a robotic future. So, um, yeah, we've got the Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams. Uh, what was it? It's, it's Dream something or other is actually the name of the company. But uh, this was actually a Kickstarter game, which, uh, as soon as I saw that it was actually getting Kickstarted, I threw dollars in towards it for a Steam copy, at least. And I'm glad it actually has gone from strength to strength and passed beyond the PC buyer and has gone across all the consoles. Because it's a pretty smart and interesting move they made with the game. Just deciding it was almost like a, um, a spiritual successor with the idea of the movies. Now, I, my, I've had perfect experience playing these, this game, but I haven't played on the PS4 specifically. In fact, last time I played this, I was on a keyboard, so it'd be a little bit different. We're just going to jump into uh, the original first part of Gianna Sisters. Now I see the Gurgle walking over Overlord. They, um, oh, these are all essentially, essentially uh, DLC packs or ex extensions to the game that were released later down the line. That's why this is the direct titles cut. So we'll throw on Hansel and Gretel because that's it. The way the game starts. The two little sisters find a gem! So oh. So, um, they're gonna get pulled away. It's, it's... Thunder affair, you know. Find a jam, hold down another world, both sisters go, one of them gets kidnapped, the other one doesn't, but the other one develops a uh, quick personality that allows her to have two different kinds of powers, and also have two very different looks. As she actually traverses two very different worlds while she's actually in this gift. Uh, these two different worlds provide her with the ability to actually see the world, hear the world, experience the world in two completely different ways. Either bright, shiny, happy, or dark, foreboding, and spiky. And uh, inversely, the two versions of herself actually exist within these worlds. You see, switch back and forth between them. Happy, happy, happy. Angry, angry, angry. Happy, happy, happy. Angry, angry, angry. And the fact that the blonde one is actually in the scary one. Meanwhile, it's the <laughs> angry redhead fireball. It actually is the um, other side. Now, if you notice, I'm sorry I'm talking over it a bit, but the audio in this game is amazing for the fact that it's, uh, it's directly related to which version of the character you're actually playing as. There's actually like melodic and an orchestrated version, and then there is provided by Metal Band remixes. And I absolutely am in love with that, um, that concept of doing the soundtrack. Oh god, did not realize. Platform falling. Moving on. Um, I live! Oh shit! Woo! That was good. Thanks for the help, turtle boy. So, uh, little standard platforming methodology. You pick up as many gems as you can. There is so many gems to pick up per level. Push, 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 push. I, I do love strategically switching between the music tracks. Now, you have to do it for bigger reasons, but not really good for those places. You see, uh, this kind of structure here, then you can either glide underneath or boost through the gap. And it's awesome that they actually give you the options of doing it multiple ways, but there's always going to be a particular way you're more meant to do it, so you'll hear different things with different areas of the game. Ah! Oh, shit. 
Didn't even realize there was actually an alternate way up here. <laughs> Whoa! Alright, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is like this. This is devil fucking creatures just floating around. They are non related to, like, you know. The, the character that you're playing as. Oh, it's just, it, I've always felt, I just felt it incongruous whenever I was playing it previously, but it's like an intentional incong incongruity that they do in the game. It has you kind of like being the most descriptive version of yourself in the one that's actually all bright and cheery, and then being. Oh, shit, I messed that up. Did I? No, I didn't. Oh. Sometimes whenever I'm playing through this, like the multiple routes, three levels, kind of weirds me out because I'm going like, am I backtracking? No, I'm not backtracking. Oh, I've already been here. Shit, I've already got the gems. No, wait, I don't have the gems from that color. Eep. Eep Original game because of this because I remember the game was so much more in a touchy Sonic esque fast game through, although I'm kind of like exploring it more on and at the same time. Oh, no! Bounced off the roof and then. Damn it. little things you're actually doing, like, going, why did I fail that? Why well, did I mind to feel that? Oh. I'm just literally waiting for this next one. Oh, God. <laughs> I was actually like, am I going to make it? No, I'm not going to make it. No, I made it. I'm all okay. Keep flying! <laughs> so you can actually get an extra bounce every time you kill a uh, creature as you fly by. So um, I just kind of got the point where I'm like, I'm like, I'm bouncing from one to the other, I will. You've seen, like, you've seen a platform games like this in the past, but um, I, I, the differences that are what makes it in the Gianna Sisters game. So in Twisted Dreams, it's the uh, the shifting music, the, uh, the puzzling elements of character to character switch around mid move, uh, mid level or mid jump in a lot of cases, and then also being able to prep so you know you're going to die in this bit you feel it a couple of times. But you need to boost, switch character, keep pirouetting, but then be ready to actually boost as soon as you kill a character, kill an enemy to make that extra distance across. Like that little bit where I was all, I almost died in the um, corridor with the water. That was just blind luck. I managed to make it through. <laughs> but there is a world after world in this game. Um, I think it's what. Like 30, 40 levels altogether. Um, that's me. That's me just kind of like remembering from a little bit of hindsight. Um, and we're obviously like one away from actually fighting the boss character. But uh, I'm gonna save that stuff for yourself to check out because Gianna Sisters, uh, Twisted Dreams is well worth your money. It is worth the value of the THQ Nordic pack on its own. It like, literally is that this that is this game is worth it just to actually uh, experience. 
the, this game, uh, this whole pack is actually one of the best experiences of this game. But you get so much more besides, and we'll hopefully get to show you all that in the next couple of videos. We're going to do these all as a batch, get them all up and loaded, uploaded, so you can actually check out each of the game and get all that. And remember to give generously. You do have to. You can control how much goes to the developers, how much goes to Humble Bundle, and how much goes to charity. Personally, um, I, if you're going to give more than 15 bucks, spread it amongst them as well as you want to. But uh, every time I do it, I throw a little bit to the developers. I throw the absolute minimum to Humble Bundle. I throw the rest to charity. Uh, I don't. You might want to check to see what charities if they actually agree with your sensibilities. I, I didn't check on this paper bundle because. Whenever it comes to the console bundle, I'm going to buy them anyway, so I might as well do the best I can for the money right there. So, uh, yeah, feel free to check it out. It's available probably, I think it's for another four, five days still left on the actual THQ Nordic bundle. Um, go and check it out. The, there's a, the Humble Bundle tends to do console bundles very rarely, and it usually has THQ Nordic and Capcom to do them. So, the next one I'm imagining is going to be Capcom, it'll probably be about four and a half months away. So, if you want to gather, what, seven, eight games for 15 bucks? We'll get it now. Uh, if you haven't already got it, I don't know what's up with you because no, nobody turns up noses at that many games for that cheap and do a good thing at the same time. What kind of person? So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you happen to be watching this on YouTube, there'll be boxes popping up all over the place. All around the side, there'll be a subscription box somewhere around here. And then everything on there, really where they said subscribe right there. And then up above, there'll actually be a box for the most recent videos on the channel. And there'll be one for a playlist over there. And on the way, on the other side, there'll be a book video just for you. Based on the user statistics and things you do on YouTube, it'll pick a video that I have made that you will enjoy. So you can check them. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see all you dudes in this video. Bye.